Today we have with us a number of entrepreneurs uh, who are really changing the face of Montgomery County and uh, the community life and, and impacting the economy, creating jobs and um, doing great things for this community. So uh, we have Brett and Jessica with uh, Weridaka and I just met your, it's Brian, right? Brendan, Brendan uh, with a brewery that is uh, in the business plan stage and we hope we'll be in the brewing stage before too long. Uh, uh, called True Respite, yep. and um, Julie Verratti, who is our uh, guru and the, uh, the uh, co-founder of Denizens Brewing Company. And I haven't met you, but I've tried your, uh, your excellent uh, products uh, at Seven Locks. So your name is? Matt. Matt. And Seven Locks, um, it's, it's interesting how different each of these breweries is. Seven Locks operates out of light industrial space and uh, has a great social environment for people in a part of Rockville that otherwise you know, isn't a place you'd go to hang out. They're creating jobs. They're, you know, building the economy. Julie is remaking downtown Silver Spring. Suddenly people are coming to downtown Silver Spring out of DC, uh, you know, as a destination. And of course the people who are there appreciate it greatly. Where DACA has, is operating in Laytonsville and uh, is bringing a life to a part of the, the, the agricultural reserve community that uh, is, is, you know, truly needed and appreciated and just a lot of fun. So, and true rest, but you may be in Bethesda. We'll see where you open up. Right. But uh, yeah. you know, wherever it, wherever it is, will be a uh, a real benefit. So, um, a few years ago, Julie Verratti approached the county government and the chambers of commerce and said, "I want to open a brewery, but the business model that I want to pursue is not legal. We need to do something about this." And Julie's experience with the Small Business Association, U.S. Small Business Association, made her savvy to the fact that laws can change. And so we worked together through the Nighttime Economy Task Force with the DLC, our County Department of Liquor Control. Aha, uh, Christian has joined us. He's the head brewer at Gordon Biersch, Christian Lakey. Um, oh, and Brookville's here, great, awesome. Come on in, come on in. Hey, and we got some growlers, we got some growlers. Awesome, so Brook, uh, well, First of all, Gordon Biersch is sort of like the OG brewer on the scene here, and uh, you know, right here in downtown Rockville. And then Brookville Brewery will also be in the Agricultural Reserve area. I've seen the equipment. I saw the equipment uh, stacked outside. You know, that's some pretty impressive manufacturing equipment that you have there. Come on, join us up here, gentlemen. All right, your names are Phil Muth and Tim McDonald. Phil Muth and Tim McDonald. Awesome. Welcome. So um, Julie Verratti said the business model for being a brewery is not legal. We need to fix that. And uh, so working together, many players, whether entrepreneurs, county officials, we went to Annapolis, uh, got a change in the law, and as a result of that, Denizens was able to open and has demonstrated the viability of the business model here with support from the state of Maryland, uh, significant loan guarantees as a manufacturing concern, support from the Montgomery County government with uh, financial incentives as well. And it's just the beginning. You know, we spend through the Department of Liquor Control over $270 million last year on beer, wine, and spirits in this county. That's what our residents spend. Of course, they may spend more outside the county as well. If we could have a significant share of that being spent creating local jobs through local production, uh, that would have a significant boost to our community. So let's keep our dollars at home. That's what local brewing is partly all about. Of course, let's have you know, great places to live and, and fun things to do, but let's keep our dollars at home and boost our economy right here. That's what Drinking Local is all about. So this is the, the nascent brewing scene in Montgomery County, Maryland, and uh, it's the start of something that is just truly awesome. This county has actually made a lot of strides in the past few years to really increase the type of business models that are in this county, especially in the manufacturing sector when it comes to brewing. Um, it, you know, Hans was correct that, you know, if those changes hadn't happened to the law a couple years ago, uh, none of these people would be up here right now. Uh, and, and I say this time and again, uh, believe it or not, Montgomery County is actually hands down the most brewery friendly jurisdiction in the entire DC metro area. We're the, the best county in the state of Maryland to operate a brewery. Um, we've got better uh, regulatory environment than DC. Um, definitely a better regulatory environment, even our friends in Virginia, uh, which is, I think, pretty impressive. And I, I think it shows a lot about 
uh, what folks um, in this local government are doing to try to really increase business competition around here. Uh, you know, when you, when you buy local beer from your local brewery, you are directly supporting the, not only the local economy, you're supporting the environment, um, and you're, you're helping, you know, increase, increase jobs. You know, most, right now, so Denizens Brewing Company opened about a year and a half ago. At this point, we have 40 full-time equivalent employees. Um, we pay double minimum wage. We offer health care to our full-time employees, whether they're hourly or salary. Uh, you know, those, those folks, of those 40 people, a majority of them live right here in Montgomery County. And they get higher paychecks, they turn around, and they reinvest it right back into the local economy. There, there's a multiplier effect that's created when you buy local. Uh, and in terms of helping the environment, you know, you've got these products that are made right here, you're not shipping, um, you're, you're going green by, by buying local. Um, and it's just, it, it's just so much better for the community, and also your, your products are just gonna be fresher. I mean, if you, if you drink beer, not only at our place, but any of these other places up here, um, I can guarantee you it's probably kegged within the last couple of days of when you're drinking it. Um, so it's, the, the number one thing I can say is make sure you buy local, support all of your local breweries, uh, and thank you for having us here. Montgomery County is recognized by many to be <clears throat> a burgeoning and vibrant home to craft brewing and with at least seven local brewers and more to come. And whereas Montgomery County brewers are crafting some of the most unique and sought after beer in the region. And whereas the local brewing industry provides good paying manufacturing jobs to support our community and service jobs that grow the local economy. And whereas residents and visiting beer aficionados flock to Montgomery County's excellent retail outlets, restaurants, and tap rooms to enjoy locally produced beer, strengthening community life in areas as disparate as downtown Silver Spring in Rockville and the farmland of Laytonsville, and whereas in Brookville, and whereas recent changes in Maryland law sought by brewery entrepreneurs and county officials have made it easier for current and prospective brewers to market and sell their products both locally and outside of Montgomery County, and whereas these changes have helped local brewers like those joining us today open new breweries and restaurants, increase capacity to keep up with growing demand, and importantly, spur innovation and excellence in local brewing, and whereas to promote this important industry, Governor Larry Hogan proclaimed February to be Maryland Craft Beer Lovers Month, or as many would like to think, February. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Marin, uh, raises a glass to Maryland Craft Beer Lovers Month, signed by Nancy Florian, Council President, on this day. Thank you. Thank you.